Hi, I'm Laura McGath from the Appold Planetarium at Lourdes University. I've been working here in the planetarium for over 10 years now. Uh, so you're probably wondering, what does it actually mean to run a planetarium? Well, I teach people astronomy through shows. Shows in a digital theater. Yeah, not a regular theater, but a theater in which the screen is literally a dome uh, above and around us. So whatever is on the screen it makes it feel like you're right there along with the action. So I can show people the nice sky from here on Earth or take them out into space and it makes it, people feel like they're really out in space along as well. What sparked my interest in my career? I, I think I've always been curious about science. I remember as a little kid, I did experiments. It really helped to have some high school teachers that really challenged and encouraged me. Um, and I just kept going. What training did I receive? Well, I didn't start out in astronomy. I actually went to college for neurobiology, which is the study of the brain and the nervous system. I liked it so much that I went on to get a PhD in neurobiology. And I never really expected that astronomy would turn out to be my career. Um, I still don't know all the answers to the questions that people sometimes ask me, but that's okay. Um, part of the fun of my job is that there's always something to learn. There's always new things happening in the field of science. Um, and it's my job to be aware of those and be able to explain those and teach other people about what's going on in our universe. One fun fact about my career, I get to teach about gravity. We tend to think about space as being a place with no gravity or zero G. That's not true. Um, gravity is everywhere. and You're never far enough away from something to not be affected by gravity, even just a little bit. So out in space on the International Space Station, there's microgravity. Um, and it's so much fun to imagine being out, up in space. And I like the, the feeling of being out in space that I get by working in the planetarium. So what advice would I give to a young woman interested in pursuing a career in STEM? I'd say, talk to other women. Talk to the women that you admire or those who are on the path that you want to take. Most people are happy to help. Their advice and encouragement will help you go through those inevitable rough spots. What do I love about STEM? I would have to say that Science, engineering, math, they're all part of every aspect of our lives. Think about when you woke up this morning. Uh, there was physics in the electricity in your alarm clock and the lights. There's chemistry in the dye that colors your blankets. There's astronomy in telling what time it is. There's certainly biology in the growl of your empty stomach. Science is a wonderful way of understanding our world. So, what advice would I give my 18-year-old self? I guess it would be to keep your eyes open. There are jobs that exist now that didn't exist just a few years ago. Even if you think you know what you want to do, there's so many fun possibilities out there that you need to be ready for those opportunities when they come along. So why do we need hands-on science like we get at Imagination Station? Well. When you actually learn something for yourself, you learn it in a way that you really hang on to that information. Not only is it more fun than just being told a fact, but later on in your life, when you actually need to apply that knowledge, it'll be there because you learned it for yourself uh, rather than just a fact that you had to learn for a test and then probably forget. So what's my favorite book? Uh, my answer to this question is usually the last book I've read. Uh, you know, really, it changes as I change. Uh, but my favorite book of the moment is Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. Uh, the author is of Native American heritage, and she also has a PhD in botany. And she has this wonderful way of combining indigenous knowledge with scientific knowledge and finds that they're really not incompatible. They're just different ways of looking at the world that can really complement each other. Um, what is one piece of advice that I would give to a young girl? Um, be curious. 
whether you're interested in how things work or why some things happen and others don't or what would happen if, um, try and figure that out. It's, it's all part of being curious and ask for help if you need it, but your curiosity is powerful and can really take you to some very interesting places.